This guy had exactly one thing in mind, let's run over these people. It's hard to see in this security video as this driver makes a hard U-turn after something caught his eye. We both scrambled in different directions, so he slammed on his brakes and obviously missed us, thank God. This victim doesn't want us to show his face, but says he and his friend were the target as the driver reversed and tried to hit them again. He clearly was going at us, and then it was even more clear when it was round two. The reason seems unthinkable. It happened here on La Brea and Hancock Park on a corner with a couple of synagogues and on the Sabbath, where many walk around in traditional attire. Beeping and screaming, effing Jew, effing Jew, effing Jew. Why he chose us? Probably because of the uh, yarmulke on our heads. Thankfully, both this man and his friend got out of the way. But then they heard a crash. A home security camera caught the same car plowing through this stop sign just moments later. I think this guy had thirst for blood on his fingers. A witness snapped a photo of this Quran on his dashboard. And although no one says the driver, Muhammad Muhammad, verbalized his own religion, folks in this community say targeting someone else's is always say hate crime. I just think that this, this is much more of a violent, scary world than we all thought it was. We had like a few years of civility after the Holocaust, and now the that window's closing. The crash site is about five blocks away from where the original incident took place. The driver was arrested here, taken into custody for assault with a deadly weapon and a possible hate crime. You can clearly see in his face that he just wanted to do something. Which is why this victim was a little disappointed that he says he had to ask for a sergeant before the responding officers would listen to his concerns that this was more than just a car accident. We live with it every single day and we live in fear and we hope and pray that uh, the LAPD and the FBI and whoever else is involved in this case and every other case takes things like this a lot more serious than the initial response was. Because this community knows the next victim may not be as agile or as lucky. And living in fear isn't living. It definitely was a God watching us. Joy Benedict, CBS 2 News.